November 1989, short and English senior grade. Get ready for the dictation. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Start. I am glad to be here to participate in your Diamond Jubilee celebrations. Your Chamber of Commerce has the largest membership. You have been serving your members in a number of ways. Besides protecting the interests of industry and trade, you have rendered various other services such as encouraging community services and contributions for medical, education, flood, famine, rural development and so on. Although the pace of industrialization is encouraging, there is still vast scope for further growth. I learned that the state government are taking effective steps to accelerate the pace of industrialization. Recently, certain new schemes have been announced which include financial support to new industries, concessions in power supply and streamlining certain procedures. I am sure that the industries would respond to these measures in a big way. You are all aware that the central government is taking measures to increase the industrial growth of the country as a whole. Recently, they have announced a scheme for increasing industrial production. According to this scheme, industrial undertakings would have an opportunity to increase the utilization of the capacity of the various units. This scheme is available to all companies. Restrictions regarding the location of industries do not apply to this scheme. I would urge upon you to take full advantage of this scheme. We have also taken many more other measures which I hope you are well aware of. I am of the view that modernization and upgrading of technology is fundamental for the success and survival of the industry. The government have announced a number of incentives in this connection. The foreign technical and financial collaboration procedures have been very much simplified to allow for the easier access to modern technology. I hope and trust that industry will give high priority to it. Your chamber can play a very vital role to impress upon industry the need to devote a much higher proportion of the resources for research, design and development. Further, as you are aware, the government have decided to establish a number of growth centers with a view to promote industrialization of backward areas in an effective manner. These centers will be established at such places which have a good scope for industrial development. A committee under the chairmanship of the Secretary of the Planning Commission is already working out the details for the establishment of these centers. I would like to have the full cooperation and support of your chamber in setting up new industrial units of this center in the coming years. I would very much like to take this opportunity to share some of my views with you at this juncture. You are well aware that for a proper development of industry, it is necessary that the small and medium sectors should be integrated with the large scale sector and enabled to perform its role in an efficient manner. It is true that our small and medium sectors have shown dynamism. These two sectors produce in many areas goods of high quality at competitive prices and they are on a par with the large industries. Occasionally, the large scale sector and the small scale sector view one another as an adversary. On the contrary, we feel that they are partners. They are two sides of the same coin with a unity of purpose. So, their integration is very much essential. I think we should take a fresh look at our rules and regulations to see that the bigger units assist small scale units. In conclusion, I express my thanks to you for giving me this opportunity to share my thoughts with you. Letter dated 7th March 1987
from Gopal Paint Company, Madras, to Mercer's Lakshmi Enterprises, Madurai. Dear Sirs, we are pleased to receive your letter of the first instant. We thank you very much for the kind enquiry you have made about the various paints that we are dealing in. Please find enclosed a catalog and price list which we have recently published for the benefit of our customers. If you go through it, you will have a fairly good idea of the various items of paints and accessories that we can offer. You will also find therein the price ranges of these articles. We wish to point out that the items and prices given therein will suit any customer who wants to add color and attraction to his premises. We are also in a position to give you necessary advice regarding the use of the paints to suit your purpose. As a matter of fact, our experienced artisans who have visited your city last month have been able to convince a large number of customers by their very good advice and also by the high quality of our paints. We note from your letter that you are interested in making your premises very attractive. We are actually well equipped for this kind of work. We shall depute our men shortly with the necessary accessories. We assure you of our best and prompt services at all times. Yours faithfully.